take a look at our first case study, which will be an exterior model. Um, I'm going to move the scale figure out of the way a little bit. I've opened up a brand new file. Now, you're going to be choosing either the exterior or the interior uh, image to work with. So uh, feel free to watch both, watch both examples because they're both important and pertinent. But ultimately, I just really want you to turn in one, one or the other at the end. Um, so go ahead and decide which one you want to work on. And you feel free to work on both because it's good practice. Uh, I'm going to start with a rectangle. I'm just going to give myself a little dummy box. One foot, comma, one foot. That's how big I want that. And then I'm just going to make that into a group. Open that up. Push, pull it up another 12 inches. So I've got a cube. This is going to be a cube I use as a reference as I'm starting to try to match my new photo. Before I match a new photo in a brand new file, I always like to make a scene that's just a working perspective, just like I would any other any other file. So I'm going to go to camera, I mean, sorry, window, scenes, add, and I'm going to call this perspective. Done. Okay, now I'm ready to match to my new photo. So I'll, I'll go to camera, match new photo. I'm going to select my house, which is this exterior here. I'm going to open that up. Okay, so again, we're back to our, our new screen where, where I get a match photo window that pops up. Um, it's telling me that my spacing is already set to one feet. If I were opening SketchUp brand new and I had turned my computer off, it would probably default back to five feet. So just go ahead and make sure that the spacing is set to one feet. Um, and so that's basically giving me a grid at one foot in both the red and the green and the blue direction. I'm going to worry about the size of this in a moment. When I'm looking at an exterior shot, it's almost always default set up so that the red um, axis uh, perspective lines and the green are kind of in the right spot because we're looking at the vanishing points being off to the sides versus if I'm looking at an interior where the vanishing points kind of go in the, in the interior direction. So we'll look at the interior in a moment, but what I want to do is just Follow some really obvious lines here. I've got this <clears throat> roof line here that's going to be really easy to follow. So I'm just going to grab these pick points from either end and click and hold down on my left click and drag these little nodes until they're at a point where they're matching up some of the really obvious perspective lines. I don't want to go to this really crazy extreme, although I can, it doesn't really make a difference. Notice as I move my, my line, it's actually already starting to kind of follow the perspective as it is. But I like to get somewhere right in the middle where it's really obvious. Um, this is super, super arbitrary because there's so many different lines here that I could be, could be looking at. So really it doesn't make a difference. If, if I bring this line, just holding the line over, you'll notice it starts to match up the perspective all along the side of this building, except for when I get to this point. And the reason it's not matching perfectly up to this point is because we've got a little tiny bit of a three point perspective situation happening here, which we'll get into in a second. Okay, so I've got my perspective lines matched up. I've grabbed my, my nodes and I've just adjusted them as I want. Now I'm gonna grab the center point of the three different axes. I'm gonna move that over I want to move it to about this point here because I'm going to say that the height of this, uh, this overhang here is about eight feet. So now I can start to scale this down by holding down on my left click and clicking on that blue axis until I have eight different grid, grid marks. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, got it, one more down, eight. So there's my eight feet. Okay, now I wanna just, I'm just gonna move this around just to, just to look at how the blue axis changes. You'll notice that when I get to this point, it's, it's off slightly, and that's because I've got kind of a, a third uh, vanishing point going on, and uh, match photo doesn't really work great with three vanishing points. So I've got, I've actually got a vanishing point ultimately that's going to be way down at the bottom somewhere here. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to adjust this a little bit so that it kind of falls somewhere in the middle. So if I get over to this point here, I'm going to see if, see which of these needs to be adjusted so that I, so that my blue actually starts to, to turn a little bit. So see as I, see as I start to bring this down, it's actually tilting the horizon a little bit. 
I'm going to find a point that's somewhere in the middle so that as I make my adjustments to this model down the road, it'll work out for me. Okay, so there's our eight feet. All right, and then just wherever I bring this, uh, okay, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna drop it back here at this point again. Now that I'm done, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say done. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna edit the style. So I'm gonna go to Window, Styles, and if I'm, if I'm choosing a simple style, let's just choose our style here by selecting on the simple style. I'm gonna to go to Edit, and I want to see the foreground photo in my match photo. So there's all these different possible tabs you can click on. I'm in the very last one, which is Modeling. I'm gonna uncheck foreground photo and I'm gonna, I'm gonna select that again so that simple style is now up, updated. Okay, now let's go back to my perspective. So I'm at my perspective here and then I'm back at the house now. So she's basically standing some, somewhat under the, somewhere under the overhang and I've got my little cube that represented that first space. So now if I start to draw geometry it's going to match the photo, which is, of course, what we're trying to do. And the perspective is going to work. So if I decide to start doing things to the outside of this house, it will all match up. Okay, so that's as far as I want to take it for the, for the beginning of this. So I'm going to go ahead and file, save this as, and I'm going to save this in my, in my appropriate folder. I'm going to call this match photo. Whoops. Photo. Get that Y out of there. Okay, I'm going to call this match photo exterior residence. Save. And in the next video, we're going to look at doing an interior.